you're tired of seeing these Lua errors popping up when you're running premium expansion on any map that has extra crops? I know I am. Well, today I'm going to show you how to fix the game saves but with a few edits to the game save files themselves. Stay tuned. We are going to save your game save. All right, so here I am on the desktop here. I have two files on this desktop here. This is my second screen, so you don't see the clutter on my other screen. Um, so I have a backup of the game save that I was just using. That was Fox Farms that had the Lua errors. And it has a lot of different added um, fruit types, fill types, crop types, whatever you want to call them. And with all of the DLCs enabled, which is what I like to try to do, um, it throws errors on that map. And it throws errors on most maps that have extra crops. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. All base game maps are, are perfectly fine. Elm Creek, Hot Bailaron, Erlengrat, um, Silver Run Forest, and Zelanka. I'm not sure about the Horse Aggravation map. I'm not 100% certain on that one. As that one is a DLC map as well. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go and find your uh, um, game saves um, folder locations. So it'll be in your documents, my games, Farming Simulator 22. This is the same section that has your mods folder. If you have the default mods folder selected, in the game settings XML here. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit the game save. The reason why I have this game save backed up over here is because this is the fixed one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to fix it with the corrupt one that I have put back into the mods folder. So save game two. Now normally what I would like to do is start a new map, a new save in one of the other slots and work from there just in case you mess up. I would strongly recommend that. Just start it up, no mods enabled, load up the map, save it, back out. And then you copy everything from this save over into that file in that folder. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to open up the career save game XML. And this is the the what shows what money you have, what the most of your main settings that you put in, like seasonal cycles, um, workers buy, you know, manure, slurry, whatnot, all that stuff. And like down here, um, money and stuff. The first thing that we're going to do is right down here it says foliage types. What we're going to do is we're going to click on the numbers over here. Select and drag, or alternately, you can go right here, click and drag. Next thing you want to do is to go to find or control F. What you want to do is type in premium in the in the uh, find what search thing, and then click find next. We do not want the liftable palace for premium expansion mod at all because we're not going to run the premium expansion right now, so there's no need to have that one in there. So you just delete that line. You select a number and hit the delete key. Now, mind you, that is not deleting it out of your mods folder. That's only deselecting it in the mod selection screen. So you don't have to go through and do that later in case you forget to do it. While you're in here, you might as well. And then after you do that, you want to find next again and make sure premium expansion is not in this list. I have already had mine disabled, so it won't find it. But if that one's in there, you can also delete it there as well. It'll be listed as a, like this um, AGI pack right here, PDLC underscore premium expansion, blah, 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 with all the version numbers and all that stuff. So you want to go ahead and save it again. We're done in the career game save. And I had that one open. Oops. 
Okay, so the next one that we want to edit, the next file, is the density map height XML. Okay, yours might look a little different. The top part's going to be the same. Because this um, map has extra uh, fill types and fruit types, you probably only have these ones here from line 3 to 33. But this map has extras from my line 34 to 49. I want to leave those in. Now there's a couple of them are, that are part of uh, the uh, platinum expansion as well, like the iron ore. Um, separated manure, I do believe, is from the uh, um, pumps and hoses pack. But we're not about that right now. We're mainly trying to take care of the uh, premium expansion stuff right now. Especially if you're not planning on doing the premium expansion crops. If you are, then the best thing to do would be to restart the game, save. Even though I know you wouldn't want to, but restart the game, save. And then, then you uh, deselect the platinum if you're not going to do logging. But anyway, so we want to, in here, for, for lines to delete... Beetroot, carrot, and parsnips, we want to get rid of those. Same crops that, that we got rid of in the first XML that we edited. Just select them and delete and save. That's all you need to do in that file. The next one will be the economy XML. Now, you don't have to delete the unknown in the top part here, but I always do anyway. It'll probably repopulate once you load the save. So I just do it just because it's not, it doesn't have a crop in it listed in the fill type. So now that we did that, I saved it just to be on the safe side. So now what we want to do is we want to keep scrolling down here now and find anything that is part of the premium expansion. I know this is going to take a little longer than normal. Because I know where they're at in this one. I've done this enough times already today. This is the fourth time recording this video. <laughs> as I messed up a couple of times. But I'm doing this slower. Just so that you guys can see what all is in here. On this particular map. I mean like this map here has different um, breeds of sheep and cattle. And horses and pigs. And well not really chickens. Now we're getting into the new crops for the uh, um, uh, swather, swathing add-on. So once we get down here to the... Uh, well, here, here we have some of the platinum stuff. If you know what the platinum ones are and you want to get rid of the platinum stuff, all you have to do is select the stuff and delete them. If you do that, make sure you select fill type with the fill type um, equals whatever it is, like this one here, armor. And when you want to delete it, select the top line, and the bottom line that you want to select will be the one with the backslash fill type. If you go to the next one, next line down, and take out that name of the next one, then that section is not going to work at all. It won't know what that crop is or fill type. But we're not worried about the platinum stuff right now. Um, getting rid of the uh, platinum stuff is the same principle as what we're doing here with the uh, premium stuff. So now here we have come to the premium stuff. Preserved carrots. Preserved parsnip. Preserved beetroot. Soup cans mixed. Soup cans carrots. Soup cans parsnip. Soup cans beetroot. Soup cans potato. We want to delete all of those. So, basically what you want to do is select the number over on the left-hand side, if you're running Notepad++ like I am, and then just click and drag, click and hold and drag, and I'm using my scroll wheel on my mouse to move it down, so you're not going all the way down to the bottom of the list. So you don't want to delete everything. So, just like I've mentioned before, I've got the fill type um, in quotations here as the first line. And you can do multiple of them at a time like I'm doing here. 
go down to the backslash fill type down here. That's the that's the end of the uh, line of code or the section of code here. And each one, each section, each fill type has an end stop on them. So all you have to do is hit the delete key. And then I always like to save afterwards. If you if you delete something that you shouldn't, you can always hit the undo button. Or if you know the keyboard command, Control Z is undo. So now what we're going to do is uh, there's three more items that we have to delete out of here. And here they are at the bottom of, of this particular one. Fill types, beetroot, carrot, and parsnip. So we want to delete all those. But make sure when you delete it that you leave the backslash fill types, the second to last line. You need to leave that one in, otherwise it renders this whole economy XML useless. And it's going to break the, break the map, or the save at least. So now that we're done with the economy, we want to go into the fields XML. You want to make sure that if you see any beetroot, parsnip, or carrots in here, that you change the name of those. Because this is what shows what, what crop it is. So say like field 20 here. I'm just going to do a demonstration for you. So say we have carrots in there. Okay. So I don't want carrots in there. And even though I just typed that in, I can easily undo. But I'm going to do this the right way to show you. So I double clicked on wheat because that was in it before. And that's what I want in that field anyway. You can um, click and select, click and drag to select it. Or you can double click that section in the parentheses. Then you just copy it, go into where the carrot, uh, beetroot, or parsnip is, and paste. And there you go. That's all you have to do in that one. And if you don't have anything that is in that folder, or in that, in that XML, sorry, that is listed for any of the beetroots, parsnips, or carrots, then you're good to go on that side of it. I'm just scrolling through just to make sure that I'm not missing anything in here in any of the other XMLs. It does not look like I am missing anything in there. So now what I can do is close that. You don't have to zip it up or anything because it is the save game file. It does not, you can't zip it. Otherwise the game won't um, see it. Now, if you have the, the save game backup, you can, you can always use this for a backup as well, but then you have to go through that whole process we just went through. I, I always recommend um, clicking on the folder and dragging it to your desktop while holding control to copy to desktop like it shows there. But since I already have a newer version of the of the save up here already, I don't want to do that. All right. We will see you in back in the game here in just a couple moments. Alrighty, now that we have the game back up and going, we want to go into the career mode and we edited Save game two. And yes, I have a lot of mods in here. Pay no attention to that. You're going to see some warnings in there, but there are no errors as of right now. We will see if there's errors with the map after this. So what I want to do is I want to look for some of these premium expansion mods like this one here, Liftable Palace for premium expansion. You want to double check to make sure that it's disabled. So unchecked. And then you also want to go down here to the premium expansion, make sure it's unchecked, at least for now. I mean, if you want to disable the platinum expansion stuff because you're not going to be doing anything with it, then by all means, you can do all that stuff. You can delete all the stuff from the save game from platinum and keep the premium on. And same goes with pumps and hoses, even though there's not as many that you can delete from that one. The premium expansion and the platinum expansion are the two that have the most amount of additional uh, fill types, crop types, height types, whatever. That, that affects the game, like with those errors. Precision farming doesn't have that issue. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and click start. I'm going to bring up the tilde menu. 
which I will show you at the end of the video here on how to enable this as well. As some people have asked me, how, how do you enable it? And I have to explain it every time. And that's okay. I figure if I can do it in the video while we're editing stuff, we might as well do it. So we'll let the map load up here. And here it is. I'm in my map. This is Fox Farms. And normally this this um, error pops up fairly quick when I just walk around just a little bit. I'm getting a little hitching here or there. But as you can see, there's no errors now like you saw before. All my crops and fields are in the same state that they were before. Okay. So yeah, that is how how to make a save that has been rendered essentially useless by premium expansion, how to revitalize it, bring it back. All right, now we're going to go over back to the um, the games fo game saves folder, and I'll show you how to enable this um, dev console. We will see you over there. All righty. So now that we're in back into this folder here, it's, again, that's going to be in the path of your documents folder, my games, Farming Simulator 22, the same folder where your game saves are and your mods folder. And a lot of you know about deleting the shader cache. It's always a good idea whenever you do updates to the game to delete that shader cache and then re-render the maps. Every single map, every save that you have, so what we want to do for enabling that dev console is you want to go into the game XML. Now towards the bottom, you're going to find a section that's, that is marked as development. The controls right here is what you want to change. It is defaulted to false. You want to select it and type in true and then save. Then all you have to do is hit the tilde key, which is the key between the escape and tab buttons right next to the number one. You hit it once, you can see the stuff page up and down to scroll through it. And then hit it another time and you can actually type in some commands that Easy Development con um, Controls uses, that mod. That's essentially a GUI based version of the dev console, but it doesn't show you the errors. I hope this video has been informative for you guys. And like I said, it works the same way with the Platinum expansion as well. You just have to use do the different um, fill types and crop types and items and stuff like that for that specific DLC. Because If you delete anything from the Premium DLC and you want the Platinum to be not in there anymore, then you just wasted your time by taking out the premium stuff. Now, the only thing that would be different with the premium compared to the platinum will be in the career um, save game XML where we had the, uh, um, the fruit types up here or foliage types or whatever. Those aren't in there for the uh, platinum because of the fact that it doesn't actually add new crops. It adds new trees, but they're not considered a new crop for the fields. So, yeah, if it's been informative, please please uh, post a comment down in, down below. And if you like the video, go go ahead and like it and consider subscribing. And until the next one, we will see you later.